You're such an asshole! AssholeConsulting.com. We have a Clary Test request, and if you have a Clary Test request, you can always go to AssholeConsulting.com. <clears throat> Give me your money, and we'll do it. Clarykins. Let's go, Clarykins. I want you to do a Clary Test on Michael Tubbs, the Stockton mayor. And this guy's kind of interesting, whether I will agree with him or not. This dude's only 27. I already kind of went through his, uh, his profile here rather quickly. He grew up in poverty. So let's apply the Clary Test to him. Right now, okay, Michael Derek Tubbs, born 1990, is an American politician, currently the mayor of Stockton, California, elected as mayor in 2016 at the age of 26. He is the youngest mayor in Stockton's history and its first African American mayor. I kind of, that's interesting, wouldn't he be? I thought someone would have been before him. Early life Tubbs was born in South Stockton and grew up in poverty. His mother, Racole Dixon, was a teenager at the time of his birth, of course, and his father, also named Michael Tug. Tubbs is serving a life sentence in prison for kidnapping, drug position, and robbery. Of course. Tubbs has a younger brother named Drav... Drav... Fucking Christ, guys. I did a video on, on not naming your kids. Dumb names are gonna just curse them for the rest of their lives. It doesn't help with the employment situation. Okay. So right off the bat... It's good. He came from poverty. Some, he's not some rich, snot-nosed kid. Political party democratic, of course. <laughs> okay, uh, Tubbs attended middle school. So, God almighty, he's 26. He immediately ran for office. He's got to have some real-world working experience in between here and there. Uh, because that's, that's kind of, it's kind of a good sign and a bad sign. If you're 26 and you can run for mayor, I, I'm not against young people... Uh, overthrowing old, corrupt, elite, baby boomer Democrat strongholds, even though he himself may be a Democrat. But I don't know where he's going to have the, the time to get some real-world working experience. Tubbs attended Hamilton Middle School 2007. Tubbs won an essay contest sponsored by Alice Walker. Well, good for him. Essay about overcoming the mistakes his parents had made and was published in the San Francisco Chronicle. Oh, surprised the San Francisco Chronicle even published that. He criticized his father's scapegoat mentality and praised his mother for overcoming adversity. Tubbs graduated with an international bachelorette diploma from Franklin High School in 2009. In July, Tubbs was a member of the team of three San, Qu San Joaquin County teenagers who won a national debate competition in Cincinnati sponsored by the NAACP. These are not accomplishments. It's not that they advocate for universal health care. The debate was followed by a speech and then a presidential, by then presidential candidate Barack Obama. He attended Stanford University. Okay, here's where we're going to find out whether he learned his lesson or not. He's going to learn his lesson. On a need-based scholarship, graduating in 2012 with a BA in Comparative Studies in Race and Ethnicity. Big fucking point against you. Huge! And a master's degree in policy, leadership, and organizational studies. All right, so this guy, god damn it. You'd think he'd come from poverty and he'd say, I never want to do this again. And all he did, I guess maybe he was indoctrinated, he'd think, well, here, study this worthless crap and you go make change. Become an engineer, make money, and don't get bitches pregnant. How's that? What do you think is going to work? A scholarship, joint winner. You understand that all these... All these accomplishments are not in the real world. They're in academia. Ooh, you went to a debate. Ooh, you wrote a thing. Ooh, you wrote a, a writing uh, 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 award or competition. He also served as the president of the school of the NAACP and interned at the White House. All right. 2017, married Anna Malak. I can't pronounce these names. Met in Stanford. I've graduated member of Phi Beta Kappa. And I Got her master's degree in multidisciplinary gender study. All right, so these guys have no clue how to solve actual problems. All they know, all, they, all that education was just go grab other people's money. That's it. It's the isms, the racisms, and the sexisms, and the, and the discriminations, and the tisms, and the, and the oughts, and go grab other people's money. So, I mean, at least they're not knocking up kids and, or themselves to have kids they can't afford. Tubbs was arrested for driving under the influence of 2014. Apologized for a poor decision. Okay, everyone makes mistakes. Political career. Announced his candidacy in Stockton in 2012. Okay, so he went right from academia to um, 
to politics. So he had no, no intention of ever working a real job. Received a $10,000 donation from Oprah Winfrey. Went on to win the election at the age of 22. All right, so he's, he's been going on his second term. And what's he doing now? He's a, he's a politician. Um, you, had, you had a little bit of hope there. I had a little bit of hope. Came from poverty. All right, is, uh, is he going to is he gonna take the red pill? Is he going to listen to, like, uh, Glendon Cameron? He going to listen to the Ed Lattimore's? Is he going to listen to, uh, you know, look at, uh, what's his name? The guy I wanted to go for president. Dr. Ben Carson? No, he went right. And I don't know if I can necessarily blame him because that's how the machine works. Let's get these kids when they're young. Tell them it's all racism. Here's some degrees. Here's some worthless crap. Go major in this worth. Oh, you got a doctor? Congratulations. Oh, my God, you're so intelligent. You wore, you won made-up awards that have no bearing in the real world. Yay. And now they're mayor. This guy probably don't know the difference between public sector and private sector and how you need the private sector to grow the pay for the taxes of the public sector. And, of course, he runs for the Democrat Party. I can't hear him because I don't think he has ill will. I, 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 I don't personally hate this guy, but it's just, he's not, here's the problem, he ain't going to solve race or poverty of, of poor black people in Stockton, he's not going to, he's not going to do anything, he's going to scare away businesses, he's probably going to advocate like a, uh, 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 what is it, a high minimum wage, because that's all he can think, he's going to advocate for more state money, more government grants, and he's not going to think about the economics and the consequences of it. He's not going to improve the plights of blacks, let alone other citizens of Stockton, because he's not based in the real world. He's been brought up in this faux, fabricated, academia world. He has not had his toe dipped in the real world. Not, I mean, in poverty, yes, but not in, in the real working world. He went right to becoming a career politician. All right, so what's his score? He gets a score of three. He has no real world working experience. He has completely worthless degrees. And what is he doing now? He's a career politician. He's going to be a career politician. He's just like Barack Obama. At least Barack Obama faked working one year in the real world. This guy didn't even get that. And so he's, you know, three. You know, should he run for public office? No. He should have joined the military, got some real world working experience, become an engineer, and then ran. Um... But, you know, people in Stockton, people in California in general are idiots. Would I want to have a beer with them? No. What, what is he going to, what intellectual stimulation is this guy going to give me? Who, what will we talk about? His interdisciplinary studies degree? Uh, how, he, how he's oppressed? I, got that, I get that shit on CNN and the public schools and the news. I get that all the time. I don't need to hear failed policy of Democrats on how to close the wage gap. My book alone, The Black Man's Got Out of Poverty, is, has infinitely more effective knowledge and wisdom and strategy that would actually close the wage gap for blacks than, than all the hours and years that this guy and his wife multiplied by 10 have in terms of eff uh, efficacy, if that's a word. Efficacy? Effectiveness? Because well-intended as they may be, nice guy as he might be, completely misled and completely time wasted and I don't he's not gonna offer anything new aside from the standard tired 65 years old now we need more of other people's money and I just don't have time for fools and that's what he is he's a fool nice guy probably very, very well into but he's a fool all right that's it you guys got questions the old captain's got answers at assoconsulting.com I gotta admit my ass to the cigar lounge and upload these. Maybe I should shave too. Maybe I should be. Maybe I should put together every once in a while. <laughs> I, when I do clean up the rare video, I always like get immediate comments and emails. Oh wow, you look really good looking. Unfortunately, half comes from guys, which I love. Again, thank you very much for my gay community and followers. Thank you very much, guys. But usually, like, oh hey, so the oh his name's Steve. Damn. All right, we'll see you guys later. Toodles.